Hey, what's up? It's Jessica Jan. And if you're returning to watch another one of my videos, thank you so much. I love you. But just in case we're meeting for the first time, what's up? I'm Jess. I'm a musician, content creator, business owner, animal lover, and a whole bunch of other things. But today I want to talk to you about two Lincoln bio sites that are almost identical. But I'm going to compare them both now because one is becoming super popular and you've probably heard of it. It's called Beacons and it's 100% free to start off with, but there's a few catches there, of course. So the contender as the alternative to Beacons today is with Koji. That's what I started using before I even heard of Beacons. And I think it might even be better in some ways. So let's talk about it. First of all, with Koji and Beacons are both very similar in the ways that you can customize your page, you can change what the background looks like, you can change what shape the buttons are for your text links, and there's a few other customizable features that they both have. But the differences are with Koji, you can add more of the same kind of block in two different areas on your page. So for example, with Beacons, you cannot add a text block and then a media block and then another text block underneath unless you upgrade. You actually have to have all text in one spot and then all links in one spot and then all media in one spot. They can't be broken up and sorted the way you want them to be. With Koji, that is an option, and there's actually way more add-ons that you can get with Koji than on Beacons. I want to talk to you about that for a sec. They have these things called apps, which I'm sure you, you know what an app is, and they're created by Koji, and some of them are created by other developers that are in the same world. Stuff like interactive games, games that can collect email addresses for you. If you're looking to build your email list, that is like the least intrusive way you can do it is they add their name and email address to put their name on the scoreboard of the game on your webpage. And it's all in the website. They never leave your website, which is really, really good too. Some other options that I think are really cool is you can add a tip jar, you can add, send a note, you can offer commission jobs, you can sell downloadable files, just like on Patreon, all for free. Their transaction fee is 0%. In comparison, Beacons has some cool features that Koji doesn't have. For example, I really, really like the TikTok shop. If you want to check that out, I'll put my link in the bottom so that you can see what I'm talking about. But basically, if you have any affiliate links or your own shop, you can connect those links to TikTok videos that you've made so that people can easily find them and buy them from you. They also have tip jar option and a few other monetization options, but if you're on the free plan, it's a 9% transaction fee. And if you're paying $10 a month, it's a 5% transaction fee. So sneaky, sneaky there. However, the $10 a month on Beacon does get you basically a fully functioning website that is very beautiful and streamlined and fully branded to you. They have no watermarks on the paid website. You get your own custom domain, which is your website link. So you can change it from beacons.ai slash your name to your own custom web page name, which is awesome. You also get the ability to add more blocks and you're given the option to add more tabs to your page, which basically makes it either a multi-page site or you can have separate tabs for separate categories that you talk about or promote on your website. So it's pretty cool. It just costs $10 a month, which isn't bad, but if you're looking to go 100% free, then you're still gonna have to get deducted your transaction fee of 9% if you want to monetize. With Koji, they don't give you the option to do the custom domain through them, but you can use a third party like Namecheap, which is what I use. Buy your domain for maybe 20 or $30 a year or less and connect it to your with Koji website and you're good to go. For a year, you will have paid a few dollars a month. 
So basically, it just comes down to what you like better and what you can afford. If you're looking for 100% free, you're gonna go with, with Koji. If you want things to be easier to use and streamline, you're gonna wanna use Beacons and pay the $10 a month upgrade. Some people have been actually switching from Patreon to Koji because of the zero transaction fees and it's just a few developers, I think, making a really awesome platform. All the apps that you can add to with Koji are free. There are a few that are like 99 cents. It's not that bad. But whenever you download an app, it gives you the option to donate to the developers so that they can keep this going. So whenever you're able to, maybe you send them a few bucks if you like their service. Anyways, I hope that helps clear up a couple things for you and let me know if you've been using Beacons, are you gonna check out Koji? Or if you haven't tried either of these, which one are you gonna try? I suggest trying both of them. I mean, it is free. And then comment below which one you decide you like better. I still haven't decided, but for now I'm trying them both out and playing around with them. I'll put my links in the description below. So check that out and let me know what you think. That's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again and till next time, have a good one.